All right, if you've made it this far in the video, you've assembled your machine, you've powered up your computer, and you have it so that there's no errors. The next thing we want to do is to check the direction of motion on the machine. So the part of the keyboard that moves the machine around are the arrow keys. Now, it is important that the orientation of the keyboard and the machine, in particular the orientation of the arrow keys and the machine, be in a certain way. I want to have the, the top and bottom arrow parallel with the long axis of the machine. And I want to have the left and right arrow parallel to the bridge on the machine. Okay, I'm going to press the left and right arrow key and as I do that the machine is going to move left and right. Okay, if that is working properly then I'd like you to go back to the keyboard and I'd like you to press the forward and backward keys. And what should be happening on the machine when you do that is the machine should be moving forward then backward forward, then backward. Okay, now we want to move it with the page up and the page down button and it'll move up away from the table and down towards the table. Up away and down towards. Okay, good. If that's all working, then I want to show you something else. If you hold the shift key and move the arrow keys, you'll note that the machine moves in a much faster uh, mo movement. Um, the idea here is that if you want to move a big distance, you can move it much faster by holding the shift key. Okay, now that the machine has moved left and right, front to back, and up and down, what I want you to do is to check a few other uh, quick things on the machine. You'll, you'll uh, look at the computer screen and see the program run screen. You'll note at the top of the screen that the program run is in blue, and then there's a number of other screens. You know, the next one is called an MDI and then a tool path and an offset screen, and so on. So I want you to notice the, those tabs. And you can click these tabs across the top, but go back to the program run to show you. you just uh, When you click it, it goes to that screen. So go to the diagnostic screen. And then I want to draw your attention to this corner of the screen. Um, I want to see some lights flashing here um, when we do something on the machine. So it doesn't matter exactly which lights at this point, but uh, I should see some flashing yellow lights there. All right, now the last thing I want you to check before we really start moving the machine is the home positions. On the corner of the machine here, I'm pointing to what's called a flag. That flag is the position that the machine uses to home. It uses a switch. It's called a proximity switch. It's under the cover here. It's sort of a green color. Once I find that green piece, I want to wave a piece of metal in front of it. By waving the metal in front of it, and I could use a screwdriver or a ruler here, that's when those lights are going to flash. So I want to make sure that those lights are flashing. Okay, on the left side of the machine, there's another flag for the bridge axis, and the sensor is back under the cover, back this way. And then there's a third sensor on the z-axis. Here's the flag and the sensors back up to cover here. Wave your little metal piece in front of that sensor on all three axes and make sure that something is flashing on and off on that diagnostic screen.